Let's examine the laser calibration system. This will help you master your distance using the red laser. First, you want to calibrate your backstroke. Use the red laser of your laser puck and the alignment and calibration guide to calibrate exactly how far you swing your putter. After placing your putter at the zero mark, turn on the red laser and adjust it so that it shines at the length of backstroke you want to practice. For example, when you practice a backstroke length of 12 inches, then you calibrate the red laser distance mark so that it shines exactly 12 inches from the front face of your putter. The next step is to practice this calibrated stroke. Get the feel for this backstroke length by swinging your putter and trying to keep the length of your stroke exactly the same on every swing. When the red distance mark reaches the precise point where your putter started, then your backward motion should stop. This is the apex of your backswing. Practice and master this stroke length without a ball several times so that the apex is at the same point each time. The red distance mark acts as a visual tape measure. Here's another pro tip. You no longer need to look at your putter to find out your backstroke length. You will be able to see the exact apex of your chosen swing and every millimeter of variation by simply observing the red distance mark. Now it's time to hit some balls with the calibrated stroke. Place a ball next to the alignment and calibration guide and hit it using the same backstroke length that you just practiced. Bring the red distance mark to the back of the golf ball where the putter face contacts the ball. And then use a smooth, pendulum-like motion to putt the ball. Observe how far the ball travels and enter the distance in your putting data log. Repeat this process paying close attention to the exact apex of your backstroke and to the resulting putting distance. If the apex is the same, then you should putt the ball the same distance every time. This is what you are striving for, consistent and repeatable distance. If, however, you find that the balls are traveling different distances even though your apex point is the same, then you are applying different amounts of energy or power. The length of your backstroke alone should determine the distance that you putt the ball, not the amount of energy you apply to your stroke. To avoid this, make sure your putting stroke always has the same evenly paced tempo. Don't try to adjust your distance by putting more or less power in your stroke. This concept has been repeatedly proven by the best golfers in the game, who have often stated, you basically govern distance through the length of your backswing and try to retain a constant pace and power on all putts. This is precisely what you control and what you see with the red distance mark. Finally, you need to build up data. Reset the red distance mark at different apexes and build up data for various putting distances. Mark the results of these backstroke to distance pairs in your personal putting data log and keep records for several balls hit at several distances. You will gradually get a feel for each backstroke length and the resulting putting distance, which will build confidence to execute perfect putts. Soon you will develop laser-perfect feel for distance, pace, and speed. Top instructors and tour pros alike all know that whether you're lining up a 20-foot putt or a 2-footer, the length of your backstroke always controls the distance you putt the ball. The longer the putt, the longer the stroke. 